Yetta. Here we go. Good shot. Keep up with us. We gotta warn everyone. Come back with a cleanup crew. We gotta live through this first. Watch them windows. They saw bitches. They're everywhere. We gotta move. Get to the door. Come on! Come on! Go! 
I got you. Get close to us. Where are we going? It's this way. Come on. Everywhere. Don't slow down. Head for those doors. Through here. Let's go. Hey, I'm Tommy. That's Joel. What's your name? Abby. Abby, are you okay? Yeah. That ain't gonna hold. We gotta go back. We can outrun them all the way to Jackson. We need to barricade that door. Tommy, we cannot stay here. The horses ain't making it all no, that my way. My friends. My friends are at a mansion just north of here. It's fenced in. We have the whole perimeter secure. It's a ball to place. I can work. All right. I'll get the door. You can ride with me. Come on. They're so gross. <sighs> what about this one? Stop posting spoilers, guys. When I was 12. I know what's gonna I happen. Found a skateboard. Uh oh. And I tried to get on it. <laughs> and it shot right out from underneath me. Don't post spoilers. I already know what's gonna happen, but a lot of people don't. So please, please just be respectful other people i do hate what's coming though i need a little tiny break i will be right back i just gotta go grab something okay all right let's do this thing <laughs> wait how did you get the scar i fell on my knife <laughs> okay sorry Chemical burn. Ugh. I died myself. Why? Uh. To cover a bite mark? Right here? I got jumped by an infected when I was 14. And it turns out I'm immune, so it healed with a ring of fucked up teeth marks and cysts and... Ow! Fuck you. Well, uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story! Oh, you want a bite mark? Uh, what? Do you hear that? Jesse? Just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, going on? please? What? Just turn around. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be on patrol. <laughs> There's a blizzard outside. Is that weed? Why are you here? People are counting on you. You get that? What we do matters. Well, then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. What do you mean? We waited for them for an hour. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town without being replaced. No way. How much of their region have you covered? Not much. Then we split up. Go at it from different sides, and we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? OK, I'll head west. Dina can take south, and you come from the east. But be smart about it, yeah?
We're good. Thanks. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? You want to get those saddles off? No, no. It's all right. We'll just ride out the storm and get out of here. No got any brushes or a towel or anything? You are nothing but lucky. Hey, you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. And who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. Yesterday? Yep. What are y'all doing out this way? I'm just passing through. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before you head out. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, by the way. Tommy. This is my brother. Joe. Y'all act like you heard of us or something. Because they have. No! Laura? All clear? He's out. Put him against the wall. Tommy! Get off me! Get off me! Say whatever speech you got rehearsed. Get this over with. Tourniquet his leg. Do it. You don't get to rush this. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Joel! Tommy! Oh, shit. How do I get down there? Good call on the emote mode, though. I was about to have words. <laughs> Poor Shimmer. I thought they were supposed to have the perimeter secure. Uh, secure. <laughs> Joel? Tommy? Get her hand! Get the fuck off me! Bitch! You got her! Look, you got her! 
got her. Okay? You're gonna fucking die! What's going on? Let him go. Who is that? Let him she go! Snuck in. Why aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. What the hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here, or the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Them. Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! Stop spoiling it. Hey. Could I sit down, please? Yeah. You hate Abby? Okay. A lot of people do. I fucking hate that scene. It makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> to make sure you're eating i'm just i, I just hate that scene she can't stop <laughs> us <clears throat> no i didn't think about backing out i didn't think anybody knows me we would need to do this smart we'd be leaving jackson vulnerable So they just get to get away with this? Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... What if the WLF moved? What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great.
you have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed. I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. This is not my first time playing. Give me a day to talk to Maria. Okay? There's gotta be some folks you can spare. And if she won't budge? <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. All right. Thank you guys for being sweet. Poor Ellie. stop at his house before we leave. We just have to pick something up. Okay. Poor Ellie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, um, uh, I'm okay. It's just, I can talk here. I'm, I'm gonna wrap up here in a minute, and then we can do just chatting for a bit. I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. We'll figure something else out on the way. A car or a horse or something. Okay. This makes getting to Seattle a lot harder. Then it's gonna be harder. You can still change your mind, you know? I know. Just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie. You go, I go. End of story. There's one line that Dina says later on that you need to get your backpack. Made her my favorite. I hit it by the east gates. If it could or one of my favorites. Sweet that everyone in town brought like flowers and stuff. I'll tell you when we get there, Kenny. Hey, what do you need? I'll, I can go get it. I want to do it. Okay, I'm okay. Come on. Okay, I'll look at that key on. I'll hang out down here. Thanks. Joel did not have a PS3. He doesn't seem like he'd be the type to play video games, so I guess that makes sense. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and read this next stream. <laughs> In the living room? Oh. Uh. I know, I guess. <laughs> that was a good day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw this. Near the table in the dining room? Okay. That? Oh, I've never noticed that before. Okay, now I'm gonna go upstairs. Joel and Tommy. Thank you for the gift subs. I appreciate that. I think there was a few gift subs and bit donations and I, I appreciate that. I'm sorry I kind of was beside myself for a minute. <laughs> He took the mirror off. So he can't... Couldn't stand looking at himself. He's gotta heat up water to take a bath. Good night, liars. She just wanted to smell him again. So sad. You must not use this bathroom. I played the whole game before I know everything that happens. This is my second play of this game. Sarah. Oh. That was the watch that Sarah gave him at the beginning of the first game. There's the sun. Ellie, can you come down here? Everything okay? Yeah, it's just, just come on down. Uh, Sarah got shot by a Fedra soldier, or by the military. Maria, I'm headed to Seattle. I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's gonna try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, Tommy. He's gonna get himself killed. He should have taken Ellie with Yes, him. I did. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. 
So you're just gonna sneak out of here. Hmm? Yeah. On foot? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. Thank you, Maria. Just uh, do me a favor and bring my dumbass husband home in one piece, please. Get going, you're, you're losing light. Thanks for the prime. For just subscribing, thank you. Here we go. All right. I, I believe this is a good stopping point. But we're going to do a This hunter was on top of him. Just chatting. Joel couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. <laughs> Goodbye Are YouTube. You scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just Can I do it? I'll do it after the cutscene. I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? We talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Wow. What happened? Guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. He got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. Well, my bad. So, uh, not talking about what you're working on is pretty standard in the games industry, so it wasn't hard to keep it a secret. I was just used to it. I have this dev team kit i can show you guys it's not mine uh somebody who worked on the game who has friends with was getting ready to move she didn't really want to like take it with her so she just gave it to me first and foremost i am a game developer and that's what i was doing and when they asked me uh this is harmony you don't know hey, hi Harmony. um when they asked me to do it so the story is one day when, after we finished Uncharted 4, I was on my lunch break at work on Uncharted 4 i was a qa analyst and during that time i became interested in vfx so I started learning how to do VFX and they taught me how, well, like I learned from like the team there and learned on my own. So by the time I was on The Lost Legacy, I was doing uh, VFX on that game. And then I, okay, well, I'll get to that part. Well, anyway, one day after we finished Uncharted 4, I was on my lunch break in the kitchen at the studio and one of the concept artists came up to me and she was like, hey, you're Jocelyn, right? And I was like, yeah. She was like, well, I've been working on this new character and Neil wanted me to take some photos of people around the office. It might like, just take some photos for reference like maybe uh we'll use your like nose or your ears for this character it might be that but anyway just like finish your meal and then like uh, let me know when you're done and then come by my desk so i ate my lunch i went over to her desk and she told me about abby she told me what she does that i've always known and at the time i was thinking like a lot of people were like why would you agree to do that with knowing what this character does because i don't i don't think about games at that level really like I was just like oh cool I want to be a video game character that sounds awesome like okay yeah and then I'm gonna tell the golf club story next so I was like they told me that Abby kills Joel and I was just like oh no that's crazy that's gonna gonna be a wild thing um and they're gonna and that she was actually going to be like stronger so they were just gonna use my head all the time they're like maybe just like your nose or your ears we're looking at like this certain style and then eventually just grew and they just ended up using my whole head for the character <laughs> yeah I don't know that was that was that it wasn't like to me I was it didn't so I never thought that people would figure out it was me like I didn't think people would know like that Abby has my face like I didn't expect to be a fame to get famous 
because of it. Like I thought, there, I always knew that there was a chance people might figure it out and they might be mad and they might harass me. But in my mind, I now realize this was quite naive, but I thought that I, I thought that it was very unlikely that anybody would figure out who I was. And if they did figure out who I was, they would just be like, oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. And then just like move on to the next thing. I didn't think people would actually be that interested in me or any of it. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the next story I want to tell. <laughs> Oh, and then, well, okay, wait, real quick. So yeah, somebody Googled everybody in the credits and they found me and then everybody was like, you're Abby. And I was like, no, I'm not. And then they started, um, you know, like trying to follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter and trying to talk to me. Everybody believes that I deleted, that I got harassed off social media. So like in the first, like within the first like 10 hours of people knowing who I was and that's not what happened. I didn't start getting hate messages until like after I said, okay, yeah, it's me. I have always just kept, I don't use social media much and I've always just kept it super private. So my Instagram account, account was private and I had a Twitter account, but I never used it. And I had recently changed the handle and the Google cache hadn't updated. So if you like Googled me to try to find my Twitter account, it showed my old handle. And then if you click that, it would take you to, it would say this page no longer exists. So everybody thought I got bullied off social media and deleted my account and made my Instagram private and deleted my, I did delete my Facebook, but I'd wanted to do that for a while and it felt like a good time. So like, that's not what happened. And then like, there's still people, I still like see like videos and like French that'll be like, and then she deleted her like, um, all over social media. I'm like, that's not what happened. I said right away, that's not what happened. <laughs> but oh well. <laughs> right on, dope. Oh, thank you for watching the YouTube videos. Um, Wait, I'm gonna say goodbye to YouTube really quick. Uh, for Pit. Bye, YouTube. That was pretty good. Good job, Harmy. I think I forgot to do it earlier. The hate was real. Oh, I got some pretty dark messages. A lot of people were like, you killed Joel, which I must be the epitome, like the must be peak comedy for some people because people still make that joke all the time. It's annoying. Sorry for doing bye YouTube. I'm embarrassed now. Harmy. Oh God, be careful. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. The better story of all of this is when I worked at Naughty Dog, they changed how Joel dies. So I didn't know about the golf club until after the game came out. Ironically, I do not like golf. Um, I actually got hit in the head with a golf club when I was like 10 and I have a scar from it, <laughs> which maybe you can see. Um, and uh, so when I was like 10, I was hanging out with one of my cousins at uh, his house and we started, uh, we went into the garage and we found my uncle's, like his dad's golf set, like golf golf clubs and we went to the front yard and uh uh like we're playing with them like hitting the golf balls around and i wasn't paying attention and my cousin had like what is it the driver like the big the big one uh i wasn't paying attention and like i was walking straight forward to go get my ball that i had hit and he was like standing right here and he swung back and it just hit me right in the forehead <laughs> it was like bleeding like crazy i ended up having to go to the emergency room they like glued my forehead shut and so now i have this scar <laughs> and so like it was kind of ironic i guess when that's how that happened <laughs> yeah it hurt really bad but yeah so like the first time i played this game even though i knew what was gonna happen because i had heard the story pitch like i still like in that moment even though i knew what was gonna happen i still did not want joel to die like i i love ellie and joel i love the first game i love the characters i played it in like 2015 and they asked me to be Abby's face model in like 2016 I think or something so like even though I'd played the game I don't know it was it really bizarre playing the game kind of just because it's been like a part of my life but I hadn't seen it. like it's been a part of my life for like four years but I hadn't seen it at all besides well like sometimes I'd go to the studio like to take photos for concept art and I would get to see like bits and pieces of what they were working on um I don't mind if people don't like Abby or hate Abby or whatever but as long as it doesn't like carry over to me then it's fine like you can it's okay to not like things it's okay to not like the game um but I do appreciate people who like her I mean I do like her I fucking hate what she did though <laughs> I think yeah this game is like there's no good guys and no bad guys it just all depends on your perspective but most people everybody had one's perspective so that's why people that's why people hate her i don't blame her what was it like working with neil did he tell you they picked you for abby stace also what's he like in person um so um when i worked at naughty dog when i was in um qa on uncharted 4 i started helping out with cinematic review meetings where 
Neil and like all the leads from all the different departments would get together and Neil would look at the cinem we would look at the cinematics and Neil would tell everybody what he wanted changed and I would type it into a laptop like take notes and annotate the video so that's how Neil like knew me I guess because of that he had like one of the lady uh, a concept artist who was a woman like come up and talk to me about it so then like and I was like yeah that's cool and they took um she took some photos and stuff and then later Neil was like um, one time I was in those, that meeting and I was like the last one in the room, like grabbing all, like getting the laptop, wrapping up what I was doing. And he was like, hey, by the way, are you OK with like us using you for this character? Like, I didn't I've never asked you directly about it. And I was like, yeah, like and I was kind of like taken aback because I I'd never talked to him before. I've never talked. I said talk. I never talk to him. I have never spoken to him before. I was like, yeah, no, that, that's cool. I'm, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be really neat. Um, I was really nervous. Elfet. Oh, Elfet's here. Elfet is who made the, uh, I, uh, I don't see him in there, but he's who made my, uh, the Abby cosplay outfit, like the muscle suit and stuff. You guys should follow him on Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna show the box. My bad. Uh, but yeah, that's how Neil's really nice. Uh, Neil's, he's kind of quiet. And he can be really serious, but I've also like been in meetings where he was like making jokes and stuff. He's always been nothing but kind to me. I like Neil. Okay, so let's start here. Okay. So this is the dev team box that a friend gave me because she was like, I'm moving and I don't necessarily need it. And inside of it are some things. Okay. So we have... Oh god, the light's gonna like... Okay, so it just has like character. Wow, this sucks. I don't know anything about Tilu 3. Cool picture of Ellie that will maybe come into focus in a minute. Damn, she looks so fucking real there. And then a, champ a champagne glass <laughs> that needs cleaned. Come on, focus. There it is. Ding. Okay, um. <laughs> Uh, I have more like Last of Us 2 shirts that I'm going to wear throughout the stream and then maybe we'll do the muscle suit one day. <laughs> no, I don't have any Abby like merch at all. I have an Abby poster. Like, well, you know, like the, the poster that's Abby. Look at my little friends. I actually got more of them recently. I just got new Asuka and a new uh, Ray in their plug suits from Ava 4, which I can't fucking wait to see. And uh, I, I uh, did you did you hear the new theme song for Ava 4? It's really pretty. Yeah. And I got, I have a little, little Shinji over here. Shinji, I can't talk. Jot is back! Yeah, I'll show you guys the new Nendos next time. Because I gotta put them together still. Um, I was talking about The Last of Us and I got distracted by Evangelion. Um, yeah, after The Last of Us 2, I'm gonna play, uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake. Because I've been wanting to play it. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board. Um, do I have a figurine with Ellie? No, I don't. Actually, I don't even have a physical copy of this game. This is a digital copy and I have like an old PlayStation 4 that has hardly any room so I had to delete like every game from it to fit it on there. <laughs> I, I could stream- I haven't streamed Hades yet. I've been playing it. Pit! What did it- wait, what did you say Pit? I was talking about Last of Us and I got distracted by Evangelion. Well, thank you for the five dollars. Oh, it's the most Jocelyn sense I've ever heard. Yeah, kinda. Um. <laughs> oh, okay, so and I, I also have- some more stuff I want to show you. Yeah, Casina is almost. I was watching her last video about it. Hopefully, she'll be done soon. I'm so proud of her for getting through it. Oh, I have some other stuff I want to show you. Like that's not like game memorabilia, but stuff I think you'll you'll really like. Yeah. I don't know. One second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 